is the president of the Barbados Association of Professional Engineers, um, members of the committee, and um, the vice president also who is present. Um, I would like to thank you very much for your consideration to respect uh, the award and uh, let you know that it's very much appreciated. And um, I look forward to seeing the association continue its growth uh, and, and development to the benefit of Barbados as it has for these many years. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Gibbs. Oh, he's still here. <laughs> I thought he'd gone out the door. Because I wanted to issue that as a little challenge to him. He seems to have succeeded on the academic side. And um, from my many years of practice, now approaching the 50 year in Barbados, um, one of the areas where we as firms have found great difficulty is getting the training of the individuals after academia. And um, we have tried through various associations with firms we've had linkages within the international arena, um, who when we work with them to get them to provide some support training to our personnel. We've also been beyond that through linkages with our um, overseas representatives to link with, with uh, organizations in other territories, um, and in particular in the UK, where we were able through one of the um, institutes there to have arrangements for personnel to be financed and arranged through their membership to receive training. Um, many years ago, I think I passed that on to BAPE as an avenue. I don't know if you were able to continue with it at any stage, but I would be happy to research the linkages and discuss it with you, because I think it's, it's critical to the future of our engineering if we, we don't get that training, because within the entity of, uh, of a firm and with our relatively small size, the mass is such that you don't have the capacity within to you know, deal with the training in a formal way. And um, the difficulty is finding that time. I mean, you get on-the-job on the direction and so on, but you don't get the opportunity for um, you know, dealing with issues in any detail and discussion to be able to um, develop that younger mind. And um, Mr. Gibbs, I would like to to ask you to maybe have a little discussion on it at some stage and see whether there is some routes that we can look at that maybe could help the association in their um, you know, development in that direction. Um, let me close by saying once again, thank you very much for your considerations and wishing you all the best for the future. Thank you.